Hey everyone, Pastor Nathan here. We're continuing our series as we look at the in-between spaces between our sermon series as we're going through Back to Basics, the Firm Foundation. Um, when this particular new devotion airs, uh, well, this last Sunday we were talking about the great sermon of the Sermon on the Mount. That's, that was Pastor John talking about that. And then uh, Pastor John is also going to talk about this next weekend, uh, this, this storm that happens um, in the world and, and, and the disciples are caught up in it and how Jesus then responds to that. In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, there's a, roughly the same kind of trajectory for each one of these, each one of these narratives that, that they're telling, um, the perspectives that they're bringing to Jesus' ministry in the world. Um, you've got the sermon, you've got a teaching, you've got some interaction with the world, and then you've got a storm. What's fascinating is that Jesus, you know, teaches not just kind of in word, but also just along the way as he is interacting with people. I mean, think about it, Matthew's gospel. Matthew chapter eight, Jesus changes kind of changes what it means to, for to be an insider or an outsider. Um, he takes a, a there's a pagan centurion that is this is a person who's not related to Jesus by blood. He's not a Jew, um, at least not closely related to Jesus by blood, and and yet Jesus says this one has faith. This person's a part of the kingdom. And then when like a Jew shows up and he's like, man, I, I want to just follow you, Jesus. Jesus basically says, hey, look, this isn't going to be easy. This ain't going to be a party. Um, it's going to be a tough road. And, and, and we're not staying at five-star hotels. He changes perspective on family, like not just insiders and outsiders, but who is family and then how do you treat family? I mean, you got a guy who shows up in, in Matthew 8 and he says, Jesus, I'll follow you. Just let me get my inheritance from my dad first. And he's, he's not dead yet. But when, once I get that inheritance and, and I have it, then, then I'll come following to this. Jesus says, uh, let the dead bury their own dead. And so you got kind of two things going on there, at least from my perspective. The one is that, um, you know, quit waiting for your inheritance and, and to be kind of like culturally acceptable before you follow me. You know, you just don't get disinherited. But the second thing is quit seeing your folks as a means to an end. You know, quit seeing this the, the, them as, you know, a way to get ahead in life. You know, they're more than that. And then he says, you know, you know where, where, where Jesus' family comes to get him because they think he's, he's kind of going a little bit crazy. And Jesus says, well, who's my family? To the guy who shows up and says, my family is everyone who does the will of my father. These are my, my mother, my sister, my brothers, the people I'm teaching right here. Um... That's family. So the kingdom kind of changes our view on family. It's not just by blood anymore. It's by faith and it's by being part of the kingdom together. The kingdom is, is, is bigger than that and changes our perspective on family as well. It changes our perspective on what Jesus is doing because he shows up in just crazy places, not the places you would expect, and then does incredible things. He shows up at a funeral and turns it into a celebration of life and new life by raising a widow's son from the dead. He forgives prostitutes when everybody's expecting him to like condemn prostitutes he shows up at a party and a prostitute shows up and he says you know you're forgiven boom incredible stuff happens jesus when he's teaching he's teaching he's comparing the gospel not to gold or to silver but he compares it to seeds that are get chucked just scattered he'll you know hither thither and, and your willy-nilly around as if they're not that valuable and yet that seed sometimes takes root and springs up and bears fruit that's incredible. Now, Jesus just, he shows up by teaching along the way. He uses life as he's going along to reorient people's perspective on life. He changes people's perspective from an earth-only perspective to a heavenly perspective on what it means to be family, to be an insider in the kingdom, what the journey of the kingdom looks like, and where we should expect to find Jesus because he's probably going to be where we least expect him beyond the places where he's promised to be. So the question then is this, or one question, there are a lot of questions, but okay, but one, maybe two questions. The first is this, where is Jesus using things in the everyday to change how you see the world? Where is he showing up? Where is he, he, he changing perhaps your perspective on where, uh, on the world, on the people around you and, and how you're operating in the world? And the second th thing is then this, is, is as he's doing that, how can you uh, embrace that and joyfully see things from heaven's point of view. Um, anyhow, I hope that's helpful for you today. Uh, take care and we'll talk again soon.